Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, so, uh, us continue to make our way to Alder. I've been debating on whether or not I try to parry Pontus, but if I'm gonna have um, NPCs with me, I don't know if it's gonna work. So I don't think we're gonna do it. Because especially, it's, it's gonna be really hard for him. I mean, I'll I'd rather have the black Night shield on where I'm doing a little bit extra damage. Plus, when he summons his uh, little shadow buddy, it's gonna be tough. Let's see what he gets. Make sure I'm geared already. Okay, we're gonna. Run over there right now. Hopefully, I opened this gate. Yes, I did. What I'll probably do is get rid of these guys and then, uh, like, uh, reset them easy, just so they have, like, full health. Be able to squeeze in there right meow. Andra kind of took some damage, so safety wise, we're gonna get rid of him. just reset it. I think out of all the bosses, Pontus is my least favorite. I have so much trouble with that in a normal playthrough. I don't know why. I'll, I'll take on Aldrin any day versus Pontus. I just... Everyone's got their Achilles heel, and Pontus is certainly mine. I think that's why I was taking so long to do this fight, because I hated it so much. thing about this fight is like, or at least the next fight, I won't have any NPCs helping me in Aldridge. I'll be able to complete a, like a quest line for Andra here, but I won't have enemies NPCs helping, so he's gonna at least get a f fight where you're seeing me fight by myself. You guys like seeing that. 
make sure they're in. Get a nice little jump. See, I guess I could have if I was. He has like this four hit combo. Oh yeah, this is the perfect time to get some hits. He'll go into that animation of like summoning the phantom again. Like the you know, the staff up or sort of. Oh no, I just lost it. We got 27,000 souls, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Now coming up right here, right when you enter, or exit, there is two crystal lizards. You kind of want to focus on them, because um, they get Twinkly and Tynite. And I'm at 7 right now, and I need 8 to level off my shield. Which is perfect, because... Can upgrade it to plus four, and then I have Titanite slab from doing the dungeon and the Sigwell quest line, and we are going to be able to upgrade it to plus five. Hopefully, there's two lizards here, so you know I might not be able to kill both in one shot. Okay, one got away, so a nice way to respawn the lizard. In case you're not familiar with it, it's to save and quit. So the thing about Pontus fight is I hate him so much, <laughs> and with the shield I have to get really close with him, and it's like slightly more dangerous. I'm 
should be able to get the uh, Crystal Lizard spawn, and then we're going to go back and uh, upgrade our shield to max. I guess technically while I'm here before I make my way back because I'm not going to be fighting anything I'm going to open up the... there's actually a shortcut that you can open up to uh, Pontus' bonfire We're going to skip this area for just a minute or two Nothing in that corner, I think maybe uh... like a ring Let me get that Just for sake of completion Nothing too exciting there. Now, if you remember the, the beast that was on top of the bridge after you entered the valley, we're actually going to go into an area where we have to fight two of those guys. They're wrecking, in all honesty. Very nervous. So right now we're in the room above Pontus. Wait. There's gonna be a crystal lizard here. Get him to flip on his back. So we get a simple gem, which... Don't know if that was my first one. It is. Magic damn it and restores FP very gradually. Very nice. Very nice way to get some MP back slowly. Here's the elevator, technically. We'll just open that up. But the thing up here is actually a mimic. So we're not gonna fight him, we're just gonna use a the undead hunt. Gonna hide him. And we'll let him uh, sleep. Actually, we'll use a bone shard and go back to the shrine. We'll upgrade our shield. Then we'll come back and uh, drop the area. With the, with the area with the two dogs that I was talking about, the, the beast, um, realistically, it might take a lot of flash just to kill, like, healing and stuff just to kill one of those guys. And then I'm gonna have to, like, luckily they don't respawn. So we're gonna have to like retreat to blah blah. So right now we're at 158.50. So we're dropping, we're upping 30 with just this upgrade. And then another decent amount. Yeah. So our shield is booming. Spend a little souls. Well, then take no wow, well, actually we don't have enough levels to spend it. <laughs> Farewell, I Which is fine. That's why I purposely leveled up, so... I can have a little bit more endurance, a little bit more... Um, HP. Strength is... Debatable. Especially on a shield thing, I'm not getting that much of a bonus. So in this area coming up, there's gonna be a lot of uh, blue robed deacons on the top left. So they're kind of be our 
first priority. I might skip them. Why not? Um, realistically, uh, I might kill a few just because there's two NBCs that I gotta fight coming up. And, um, uh, like two NBC, um, enemies that dodge and, you know, just... I might just need to get them out of the way. Plus, I wanna see how easy it is to take them down with the shield. The fat one might not be the best example. So it took a decent amount. Haha, <laughs> did I just knock one down? Yeah, not so funny. That's what it is. The reason is when you're trying to deal with all the giants down there, you got these guys fire, fire at you and it's like... Super annoying. See that one of the NPCs down there. One's there, one's there. Okay, I must have added them. So, you gotta be prepared for the chance that they're gonna come up here eventually. My biggest thing is I want to fight him on top of that, over by the stairs there, and hopefully knock him off for a little bit of fall damage. Like right over here. Realistically try to. Try to separate them a little bit. Did he even take any more damage from that? Oh, cool. Ah, it's fun. Oh, I thought I did the... Uh, what happened there? Luckily this shield has a lot of stability. So that like, helps a little bit. Now the area that I'm talking about is right here. In all honesty, I might have to use something to aggro one of the dogs. Uh, because, <laughs> let's face it, there's no way I'm going to be able to fight two of them. I'll try to aggro just the one. Uh, I think it worked. That lightning tech is the best thing I could do because it gives me a little more space to work with. But this tech is so space. Like that attack is really hard to or block. Trying to get if anything I gotta be super slow.
sorry if I wasn't talking, I was a little in the moment of like thinking of what I need to do. So we're gonna come back and kill the second one. But I wanna get replace like get all my Estus flash back. And normally I just yell bonfire to the um like the shrine and like heal, but as on like an opportunity there's since I kill like the mages up top. I'm going to uh there's two giants in the middle courtyard so I can kill them. I think they're respawnable, but I'm just gonna show that I can kill them with a shield. Without the mages attacking me, and then I'll rest as a bonfire. I'll come back and uh deal with those guys. So I mean realistically we haven't fought a giant since Probably the dungeon, yeah, that one in the... That was a tall one. This one's a little... Like, a tall, small one. You know what? Just... He does, like, a little berserk attack like that, and then he's, like, tired. How am I doing? I'm just gonna finish him off. Let's see. Take that shot. Kinda sad actually. Here's the second one. Get that ember quick. Miss our attack with a hitbox. Right. <laughs> so, killing them is only a tight nine shard. At this point, it's not really anything exciting. So we're just gonna. I think we'll just go through a one level up to our thing. Um, then we'll come back and kill the second dog. Thankfully, they don't respawn. Welcome. Very well. Then touch take up. Those doggies are always such a like pain because of the way they uh like move. Uh, well, Ashen one. Um, you could be standing next to them and they're like kind of like their side swiping attack with their head. It still hits you even if you're blocking. It's kind of weird, like hitbox. I hate it. But if you get, I mean, you can, if you, what's nice is if you can hit their head, you can stagger them and repose them. Obviously, I can't repose with a shield, but I can stagger them and then, like, it opens up their chest where the rib cage is. The nice thing about that lightning attack is I can get behind them and hit a few times. And then, uh, when they do their slam down, I, uh, dodge to the left and behind them, try to get a free hit in. With them, especially with the shield, Two ha two hits is like a max that I even risk. And yeah, the di uh, giants are alive, so they're like a nice way to you know kill giants if you want to refarm them. They're respawnable compared to the other tall giants. So you can imagine why we took out the mages first because they're firing constantly. Those uh, deacon clergics are just. Very, very consistent. So now we will go kill doggy number two. And this actually gives an extremely nice ring if you do it. We'll show you what it is in a second. So doggy number two, you ready? I'm gonna make him j hopefully jump at us first. Oh, well, I thought you were... Yeah, well. You know what? Instead of getting two hits in, I'll just get one hit in and heal. That's the size swipe he's attacking. Really Fuck me. I'm gonna 
to get some distance because I got stuck. I'm waiting for that attack too, so I'm just playing it. Uh, we're going to use this pole for a little bit, for a second. Get a little bit of, uh... Uh, I'm gonna use this just to get a little bit of stamina back faster. Ah, uh, too bad he's back against the wall and I can't do anything. See, how does that even hit? Get behind this pole. Because I need it. I got hit with those attacks. Try not to hit with that attack. They'll like, they'll like get a bite attack and take off like a decent amount. Of attack. Come on, lightning attack. Just there's a nice hitbox, so try not to stay under. favor if we manage to kill both of them, which increases your health, stamina, and max equip load speed, which is extremely, extremely nice. So like my stamina goes from 157 to 170, I go up by 47 um, max HP, so it's very, very efficient. So what's my, uh, load at? I'm at 64%, that's kind of nice. Down. Uh, deep one's the dark weapon. Loses scaling. Uh, that is a Covenant NBC over there. We are not. I'm uh, not going to do anything with their Covenant, so I'm not going to bother with them. But just to show it off. Fatty Deacon. So if I wanted to join the Covenant, I could, but we are not going. Luckily we can get that bonfire here and get our all of our flash pass from that second fight. I highly recommend, if you can, fight one at a time, reheal. Some of those hitboxes on those dogs, just because their size is kind of weird. So it's really tough to dodge next to him because his character is such, the dog is such a big character that his whole body is hitbox. So you might dodge his attack, but like the body bumps you, it's weird. Sorry about the long ladder climb. Now we're gonna be uh, climbing some rooftops. And just for safety, we're gonna put this on. Fall damage, I'm gonna probably be jumping off rooftops to dodge certain things, slash pick up certain items. Now there's going to be some silver knights using a lot of arrows and bows and just up, very obnoxious. We're going to have like, we're going to try to kill like a set amount of them. Ones that uh, I can vulnerable, I can get by themselves, but you can tell me just running up there. Like, they're just annoying. You have to get close enough for them to switch the door to Hey, no way. Plus you got, in the back of your mind, you got, you're like, oh god, I got arrows firing at me. You don't have a lot of space to work with. I want to drop down and get an item. Ashes. So we're gonna take that knight out of here. We're gonna run down the some stairs right here. And there's some ashes right there, but I'm gonna work. Yep. We can't get hit by that guy. So that's nice. Now we're gonna 
probably attack the second guy. You know what, it would have been extremely nice if I was able to push him off, but... I think he had like, he didn't stagger as much on the first couple hits. To get that little bit extra, like, pushback. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back on. Because if we're gonna fight in them, I wanna try to make them lose their, uh, stamina more if I can, while they're guarding. Phone. Luckily, they seem to drop a uh, large Titanite shield pretty uh, regularly. There's two here. I'm just gonna try to chase. Have one of these guys chase us in here. Okay, you didn't. So, depending on your storyline on Onre, this area has a secret area. So if you're going like the dark route, this area will be a lot more important later on. But since we went the the good route, uh, realistically, this place is not used for anything other than obtaining that little set of armor that I just got. But we're just going to take a quick look at it. Kind of a cool little mini church-like area. I think there was a uh, item back there that I missed where I can pick up. It was a uh, bow and arrow, like a dragon slayer. Uh, realistically, it's not important. I'm gonna have to jump off a rooftop to get to it, and then have to climb back up. And it's not that important. Uh, Yeah, there's nothing down there. We're gonna do this big, strange, spinning staircase. Almost takes up your whole stamina bar just to climb it. Press the switch. actually go over there for a uh, covenant. Uh, I think you have to go back down these stairs after you activate it. And I think you can literally just walk across. I know it's gonna look, I'm gonna look stupid if I die, but I'm pretty sure you can just walk all the way across. I don't know if there's a drop point. Yep. <laughs> Bonfires is called Prism Tower. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yoshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckoned thee to such a place? Thou thinks too. Very well. Captain to this knightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose.
thus journeyed far, hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the dark moon. Thou art now a blade of the dark moon, the only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. That's cool. Um, you actually get uh, that. Uh, was it the? Uh, have the emote somewhere here. Yeah, Dark Moon loyalty. I got it from doing the service quest line. Um, let's see. Silver Knight pretend. Ah, when a member of the Way of the Blue faces a dark spirit, blades of the moon by ancient core help out. But we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna put it on because I don't want to accidentally be summoned to someone else's game. You no, know, I think I'm offline, so it won't. Now, I'm looking at where I can drop. I put the silver cat ring in, just so you know, accidents happen. We don't need to die from fall damage. So again, painting garden's curved sword. Now, if you remember where we helped, there was a uh, bonfire church where we helped uh, Henri, dialogue-wise, and then kill the uh, person that was in the chameleon spell. And uh, I showed you a uh, area that was like a dead end. Well, this is actually where that dead end led, where you dropped down to. Don't think I'm missing any items. Yeah. So this is actually where we uh, talked to her. Over here in this corner. Or him over in this corner, and then this is where we killed that chameleon spell user. So we're gonna go back to Andor Londor. Now, when I climb the uh, steps up here, there's gonna be some um, silver knights. I think we're just gonna skip them. Because that just takes time to fight them. Why bother? Right? My goal is, uh... Uh, when I get to the top of these steps... Actually, I might have to fight them, I don't know. But, at the top of the steps, if you see that door... Uh, if you... Progress a certain story... Um... The, uh... Honorius, you're gonna actually be summoned to help fight Aldridge in their timeline, or their version. So we're gonna try to leave this night away. Yeah, I might fight him. Just to get him away. So, um, we're gonna be uh, summoned as like a phantom. We're gonna help fight. So it'll be like a nice little... I guess, uh, like a test run on fighting. Oh, I got a helmet. On fighting Aldridge. Problem is, if she die, if he dies, you know, he can't do anything about it. He can get killed by the arrows. Be like a nice test on how much damage I can do. Call it like a uh, mini practice run where I don't have to worry about dying and rerun spawning. So we're gonna answer the call for cooperation. Now remember, when you get called to the Phantom, you have less, um, SS Flash. Uh, so, in terms of Aldrich, uh, from the front of mind, Wit, 
he said that um, mm -hmm. getting closer be is like the best strategy and to get away from all the magic you use it. You might get attacked by a scythe and those like homing arrows. That's the arrow attack that might affect you. Doing okay damage. Okay, so I, I, if I stay on this side of the room, and they uh, disappear, I'll show you. Okay, so he disappears. I'm gonna stay on the side of the room, and force him to spawn on the side. He'll s spawn on the side that you're the f farthest away. That's the side attack. I can't do time for that. It'd be a little bit easier when uh, I'm on myself, I don't have to worry about them targeting them. I'm gonna stick to the tail. I didn't like attacking the tail. So he's gonna spawn on that far side. Yeah, let's around the side. So I'm gonna. Oh, okay, arrow phase 2 is probably the worst. They will attract me or whatever. So I suggest you just run for a moment. Now on a normal playthrough, I want to avoid that as much as possible. Like arrows. If hey, I would have to run away from them. That's just like this. Now it's phase two when he goes up the ground and he summons magic and things, which is extremely annoying. He, like, he did the arrow thing like right away and he was super annoying. I'm worried that Andre's gonna die. It'll be a lot easier on them. Okay, okay. I think I can take it. The arrow killed my kill. No, 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 no. No. Oh my god. Oh, we did it. Horace, we've done it. We really have. Ha ha ha. So that's like a nice little, like, if you, like, practice run that you can do for yourself. <sighs> Idea is to avoid those arrows as much as possible. As <laughs> you can imagine why. Alright, so what can I do? Um... The helmet on. Uh, I'd like to get a little bit more magic defense. Okay, as long as I can. Not fat dodge. Okay. So over there, there's a uh, red knight arrow, or silver knight. I think he dropped it crazy. I think there's a soul over there, so I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about that because I want to try to keep as many of the, uh, or at least for now, all my SS flash. I know there's nothing down there. I come over here by this dead giant. You can get a giant coal, which lets you infuse certain. Weapons with certain like things like lightning, for example. A couple of, I think it's a. What does this show actually? Lightning, simple, and chaos. Very nice. Now, what we're gonna do quickly, I didn't realize it, I have my silver cat ring on. Now, to open up the door, um, there's a switch like right below me. You might not be able to see from this point of view. But it's like right there. The thing I'm worried about is if you remember from the cathedral, that big curse 
like spider, boom. Hiding right there to drop down. So what I might do is, uh, I might try to open the door and force him out there and then fight him. Those deacons are... There's six deacons in this area. I kind of want to avoid fighting them. So, I'm going to open this door. The spider guy is probably going to drop down. We're going to try to get him up this time. I gotta remember I can't block. Uh, blocking? Well, a curse will still land on you. Do I have anything here? Curse? Uh. No. But, as you see, he doesn't. For whatever reason, does not pass this barrier. So It's actually pretty nice, actually. Uh, that's... I, I know it's not intended. But you gotta take your victory sometime, right? So we get Alders and Ruby. So I did use one for the last. Rings for the HP, critical attacks. Not very useful for us. Now let me run in there and uh, pick something up. There's actually a chest in here, like inside on the uh, left. I like, kind of want to open. Watch out for the slimes. So well, this gives us another the shard, which, uh, it's always better to have, like, an extra Estus Flash when you do a boss. So we're gonna go back and get one. I don't have Undead Bone Shard, right? Yep, I don't. So we're just gonna make a minor trip back to Ireland. We're gonna, I think we have enough to level up. But we're gonna turn that Estus Shard in. And then, uh, I think we're ready to fight Aldrich. Ah, tis what neat. We'll give him a uh, call while we're here. See, I might have all the bigots. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm using my sheet. There's nothing the shield does that would increase its damage. Heavy gem might, but look at all that stability you lose. Uh, it just doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, you lose so much stability when you infuse a shield. Pretty be careful. Good. Almost forgot to use a shard. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, I can level. Works very well then. So I think what we'll do is finish off the uh, soft cap of endurance, which is nice. So, like, the idea is, uh, stay close to Aldrich. Hit the backside. I know you do a little bit less damage. Watch out for that scythe attack. I gotta get the timing on that. Even if I take a hit or two, that's fine. Stay close to him to avoid 
The arrows. Arrows might happen. Not much I can do. And that those homing magic seeker things. You know, there's not much I can do to dodge those all those. So. so we're just gonna I'm gonna make sure I have my uh green button so I get some more stamina back. I'm gonna need it for like the whole fight. Dodge these guys a little bit. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hey, wish us us. Wish us luck. Hopefully they don't start with some bullshit. Like they always. Got a few hits on the bottom torso. Okay, so unfortunately I, I didn't. I forgot. So, um, because I killed my fourth uh, Lord of Cinder, um, you get a cutscene that takes you back to the high wall of Lotric. This is scripted, you, depending on which Lord you kill in which direction. But, uh, you almost get thrown directly into another boss. But we're not gonna do that yet, uh, because I have two things I want to do, and I'm gonna end the episode, and then I'll come back and I'll be probably do the dancer fight afterwards. Now, if I can get to my menu where I load into the next area, I might be able to switch my gear to get those extra souls. Might be able to. Uh, I don't know if I got it, but I got a lot of souls. <laughs> so we're gonna put that grist back on. Put this back on. Uh, 
We're not going to talk to her yet. You know what? We'll talk to her. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a lord. Now, do not move forward if you want to start a fight. I'm just picking up that item. So there's uh two things that I gotta do. We're gonna first of all we're gonna go back to the shrine. Because in Aldridge's room you can get access to a ring. Plus quest line wise, uh the Ceres from the Sunland ah. Realm after you beat Aldridge. Great if you completed everything else, you'll be able to buy something from the uh, handmaiden here. Yeah, this shows that you can, you had that quest line. If you look at the description, it says goodbye dear grandmother, I will visit grandfather in the pit of horrors. This gives you a hint where you have to go. We're just gonna buy that, just, you know, for whatever reason. You don't have to buy it. Welcome but, uh, well, we you. are gonna do two things first. We're gonna go get the ring. Um, in the, uh, Aldridge's room. Uh, annoyingly, I wasn't able to activate the bonfire, I don't think. Oh, cool, I was. Ugh, I, I didn't think it would activate. Because I didn't manually activate it. So, um... There's actually a ring up here. If you're familiar with the Dark Souls 1 game, you're, it's, you can imagine this area brings back a lot of memories. So we're going to take this elevator up here. There is nothing over there, I can promise you that. Uh, if you want to look at it, I will run around. There is no items, it just gives a nice little view of the room. Ooh, ah. So we actually get this room right here with the big ass couch. And we actually get a uh, Sun Princess ring, which gives you health regen. Which is actually really nice. Um, for certain, like, activities where you're just kind of, like, running through. It's kind of nice to have. Depending on your option of rings. So we're just gonna bone shard out again. Uh, we have to go to the undead settlement. By the way, doing this quest line also for, um, Cirrus um, unlocks her NPC to be summoned later on for certain bosses, so this is like another cool thing to do. Or at least another reason to do it. Plus, uh, there's some items that you can get. Nothing weapon crazy wise. been a while since uh, we've been back here, in all honesty. I look back at like the first couple episodes of like the Shields All Night and I'm like, wow, I could have done so much better. So I appreciate you guys uh, sticking with us and, uh, you know, seeing all the changes that I've had to make. You know, I, I'm just clearing that door get through it safely. Granted, this is a uh, another thing that we're gonna get summoned as a time, so we're gonna have limited uh, Estus Flask. But, like anything, it's like you don't want the main NPC to die or else you get booted out. So, we're gonna answer the call for cooperation. I like the integration of 
being able to get summoned in as a phantom for the people that never play co-op and never want to. Yeah, this is just like a nice way to see what it's like. I We're gonna use a yeah, get a little bit of green blossom for more stamina. Ah, so we're gonna fight Holy Hawk, like, which someone we're f deeply familiar with. He he's a lot tougher in all honesty. Definitely. He can parry you with the shield out. I don't think he can parry us with a shield. So that's got that on our side. And he does a lot of damage actually. Oh. He boosts his attack, but he's taking damage over time, so. He will hear himself, unfortunately. I can't do anything about that. I'm still gonna try to draw his attention as much as I can. And then we stagger block him like this. The best suggestion, like anything, is you make him run out of his flask. And then you finish him. Stall him out, so to speak. Yeah, perfect. Like, you get... Oh no. Oh, I thought... He got some repose. He's gotta be low on fly. Oh yeah, he's on fly. That's nice. This is actually a nice um, spot for the... Nice layer ring. Right? Here it is. Duty for the night. Good night, Granddad. That's always fun. So if you didn't get access to the Mountain Maker's Covenant earlier in the game, you can get to it right here. Now there's two stops that we gotta make. Uh, if you actually go to the bonfire on the bottom there, um, where you killed the uh, the curse, curse rod tree, you can actually get uh, uh, Hodrick's um, armor set. So that's exciting for the people that use that. I don't plan on using it immediately. Uh, I kind of like the Silver Knight set, personally. I can get two of them sets. So you can get the sunlit armor. I might try it. Take a look at what the armor looks like. Yeah, but it's so much heavier, sadly. That's a shame. Armor of Hodrick. Okay, the last stop that we are making is we're going to Firelink Shrine. We talk to her. And then, um... She, um, you know, vows to help us wherever we are, which is nice. So she'll be able to be summoned for uh, future bosses, oh, two are. future bosses, actually. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last... May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? Indeed, I will accept. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver.
blessing of the moon upon your journey. If I may ever be, if I am your knight for blessing of the moon. And with that, I think we'll end this episode. Next time, I think we'll be tackling the dancer. And that should be an interesting fight. So, thanks you guys for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time.